All right, welcome back, folks. The rain in the upstate unfortunately couldn't hold together and make it into the Midlands helping out with the pollen count out there. Showers fizzling out up there while we're dealing with some mild temperatures here. Let's take a look at real time numbers on the Watch Fox Sky Watch Weather Bug Network. You can only find that here on Watch Fox News. 69 in Ridgeway and Fairfield County, 72 in the city. Look at that high at Eel Wright today, 90 degrees, 68 at Ferry Chevrolet in Orangeburg after a high of 83. Billion Middle School at 70 after a high of 88 degrees. Beautiful shot from the Newberry Opera House camera looking at the clock tower of the Opera House. 66 after a high of 85 today. And what has, at least for now, become one of my favorite shots because you get the gorgeous sunsets there. The WCBD TV camera on the Weatherbug Network. It's in Mount Pleasant looking across the Ravenel Bridge to Charleston. One more time, that sunset, 66. The high there was 80. Across the southeast from 74 again at the airport, 69 in the Queen City, 79 in Memphis, and 76 in Atlanta right now. You can see that we've got mild air here, cooler air to our west. That is associated with the front that I'm keeping a watchful eye on for you come Friday into Friday night with the chance of some thunderstorms as that frontal boundary approaches the region. Now, as we look at satellite and radar, things relatively quiet for us, minus these uh, pop-up showers that we've seen here and there and these isolated showers that are moving through. The heavy activity has been well to our west. So, yeah, there's stuff showing up, but... I'm comparing this to what I've been tracking to the west all day, which has been lots of severe weather, severe storms, tornado warnings. In fact, tornado watches in effect throughout the Mississippi River Valley. That includes the state of Missouri and down into the Central Plains. You're talking about uh, Oklahoma, Kansas. Those are the areas that will really see this severe threat. So future watch, we'll put it into motion as we head through tonight into tomorrow. And it's a repeat of today as far as the pop up shower chance we will keep it at 20%, but any strong to severe storms will be along the frontal boundary that will be well to our west. So if you're flying tomorrow out of Columbia Metro and as far as those northeastern airports go 60s and dry weather until you get to Philly DC you could see a shower as well. The southeast we're looking at dry conditions. Chicago, Detroit will likely see some morning thunderstorms and some thunderstorms rolling into North Texas and Dallas and into Houston by the afternoon hours. Rain by Friday, which means that this pollen count on the very high level here on Pollen Watch will start to drop. We could even be in the re medium range, and that would be fantastic. Oak Willow Birch, according to Pollen.com, the main culprits. 60, that's where we should bottom out with some patchy fog for the morning commute from the 60s into the 70s and 80s. And then tomorrow evening, it's much like today, partly cloudy and mild. This weekend, we get a nice weekend behind the front clearing out Saturday, and then we rebound to normal by the middle of next week. But Daryl, tomorrow looks to be a repeat of today, Friday. That's when the thunderstorm threat rolls in.